Yeah. Yeah. Don't ever bother playing the gun sounds down the phone, you motherfuckers. Yeah. Stop it, stop. We anticipated your hate should be destroyed And you can't deal with the side that I bring The fire that I bring Or tear your whole soul to bits Turn your back into quarks from ours You motherfuckers get destroyed in pieces Feces is what you be You can't mess with me You can't see me Invisibility I project plasma from my hands ball lining Leaving you faggots leaning feeling frightened You motherfuckers can't deal You fake You got a faggot flag on your motherfucking fans Come through snake, get assassinate, get cremate, get desecrated with my rhyme stakes Through your heart, you fucking tart, get torn apart by this rhyme bone apart Ripping you up, ripping you up, chewing you up, I'm hitting up just like a scud, like a hypersonic missile, like impact, blowing you to pieces You motherfuckers know that, I smash faces, you get broken, with the rhymes impact, you get smoke man you motherfuckers can't hack it, you deal with it Best to deal with it, cause you're both bitches, both snitches I'm pointing at you, you motherfuckers get this quick Slick, nah you're not slick, you can suck a dick You motherfucking little pricks, trying to project your little fat fucking side up You motherfuckers can suck a car, motherfuckers That's how it's going down, I surround you motherfuckers and I hit the pound Put you underground, with this verbal sound You motherfuckers get your head fucking beat now that's how it's going down for the cipher, for the real shit. Third attempt, you know, we're being sabotaged, uh, it keeps getting cut off. Um, what we're going to do here is a breakdown of uh, hip hop tracks and uh, the artists and stuff. I'm going to play parts of the song talk about the lyrics and facts to do with the song if I can remember them isn't always 100% guaranteed but I'll uh, you know do what I can do but um, yeah we've been having a lot of sabotage attempts tonight you know the phone keeps getting cut off so those that follow the regular calls we do you already know who's responsible for that you know they, they, they can't deal with uh, us uh, making moves and uh, expanding especially expanding, you know, uh, uh, you know, you know, the things we're doing. So anyway, I'm, I'm going to play the, uh, the first song, which is A plus B prodigy of Mob D, uh, called Gusto, it's made in nine, six. Uh, I'll play the first person and describe it, what I think. So yeah, man. Uh, No, the fucking shit all around it. against what these people try to do to us man it's like people hating on him trying to say you know he says i can do what you wish you could you know what i'm saying and that's exactly why these people that in you know the other stuff we talk about which i'm not going to go into you know why they hate man because you can do you can do shit that 
these haters can't do, man. So, you know, it's, all, it's also a threat to people that want to take him out. You know, he's, he's like skinny like Wolverine, man. The militant verse, man. It's all about holding himself down. But like, yeah, man, I'm young, but I can hold myself down lyrically and physically. I can do my thing. You know what I'm saying? So, very strong verse from A+, plus, man. And this guy isn't very much well-known, uh, but... Yeah, so he's he's underrated, man. I don't know much about what he's got to now, man, but you know, there's around this time you got several young artists like Shaheen, A Plus, you got uh what's the other dude, Jamal from uh, you know I'm gonna name the crew man, but like Red Man's crew, you know, and all, all those guys, man. So got several strong MCs man. So we'll go into the second verse, which is Prodigy man. I wake up in the morning, smash my alarm, and grab my fire on, grab my pelly pelly because I want to look fly for a dive. But it ain't my time to say goodbye. That's one of my favorite lines of him, and I'm sure I've heard that line on another Mob Deep song. But yo, that, that shit there, man, it, it, it's a warrior verse again. It's just letting you know, yo, this, this shit is real, man. I'm surrounded by gunfire, I'm surrounded in, by danger. It ain't my time. You know, it's like that, that inner knowing that, yo, gonna push through this shit we're gonna keep doing what we gotta do and then you know it just describes the situation he's in you know, you know and all, all that shit man and that's what prodigy does best man he describes everything around him you hear it in his voice and it's real man he's not bullshitting you always know, you hear the anger in his voice the, the frustration of his situation man you can hear that shit in his voice man so that's some of the things that prodigy does best man like paints a picture with words you can see it in your, your your mind you can see him getting up turning the alarm off grabbing his pistol and putting his pelly pelly on and going out there doing what he's got to do to, to keep himself afloat man and that's what I like about Mob D man because it, 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 it's real shit man it's not you know these guys aren't faking man you know these guys aren't fronting like these new new guys and these new fucking trap artists so that, that's what I mean man that's what that's what I like about that track it's a hidden gem man yeah, man, I, I hope it's still... Are we still good, man? Are we still working? We're still good, man. Nice. nice. So, next track is by a group called Brain Sick Mob with Group Home. Now, man, many people know Group Home from, you know, Gangstar and all that shit, man. they got tracks like, you know, a famous one they did. It was in GTA 4, man. I can't remember now. Superstar and uh, the other one, man. <laughs> the damn name, but yo, that's 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 the thing, man. I can't remember the names of the joints, but I can see them in my head, man. Visual memory, but anyway, man. So we'll get into it, man. We'll get into a couple of verses, and yeah. <laughs> Lord, 
Did you go check out them dogs I told you to go check out? I'm sick and tired of you picking up in my house, not doing anything. Same with me, I don't know what's going on. You just stopped. I will try again. Not being stopped. Oh. Got no sound, man. You're messing with it from your end. Yeah, man, my computer's literally playing no sound, man. Wow. Alright, hold on a second, give me a second. Got no sound. Yo, literally. Anyway, man, as I was saying, yo, this is a uh, group home for you, Brainston Martin. You know, we've just got to keep doing this shit, man. We're not going to let these people stop what we're trying to do here. And this is a constant thing. But that's, that's not the subject of this, but, yo, you're seeing in real time the shit we have to go through. You know we're not bullshitting, man. But literally, my computer had no sound, man. Anyway, here we go. from group home the, the picture I get from that is like yo he's been kicked out of his house he's on the street man shit's rough he's trying to survive man his family aren't helping him you know what I'm saying he feels like killing himself man but he ain't gonna do it but he's just letting you know yo I feel like that man I feel shit's fucked up I'm in a shit world of shit that you can't understand dealing with tons of pressure you know what I'm saying it's like, it's like yo he's just venting his situation Saying no, man, like yo, this shit is making me feel like killing myself, but I'm not gonna do it, man. That, that's pretty much the message I get from that verse. Yeah, man. I'll play the uh, rest of the song. <laughs> well, not the whole song, but the next verse, and then we'll go on to another one. <laughs> Absolutely throwing it down with rain here. <laughs> 
Like reminding you, don't fool with my shit. We can, we can get rid of you. You know what I'm saying? We can do this. You know, it's a dangerous place we live in. You know, people get shot and all that shit. So that's that's basically what that that verse is about. You know, man, this song is like it's typical '90s shit, man. It's like real shit, talking about the environment, talking about the shit they're going through. You know, it's. No, it's, it's, it's basically the typical shit, man. It's like everything is about the environment. Everything is about what they're going through. And that's why 90s shit is realer than the shit now, man. It's not fake. All real shit. Well, there's fake eyes from them, but it's few and far between, man. So, you know, that, that's what I think about that verse. So we're going to move on to the next joint, which is another Brain Sick Mob joint. So this is just Brain Sick Mob. Mix Master USA, and then we're on to some next shit, which I know these motherfuckers are gonna hate, man. I know, I know they're gonna hate. So, yeah, we're on to the next, man. Joints. 
You probably are. You know what I'm rap storytelling shit is all about you've seen in your head what's happening man you can see uh, the, the stories that's going on and you can see what these guys are talking about man and, you know if it's not something that they've seen it's something they've heard happened on the street so that's this artist I think he's from a place called Bronxdale don't know much about that obviously I'm not from America or New York so I don't know New York too well never been never been there so you know, it's, it's like, but yeah, man, it's, it's, this guy, I don't really know much about him. He's still about, man. He's still making tracks. I think he has a YouTube channel, has a, you know, a few albums he's put out. I listen to a few of them, I've got more tracks by him. But his content is generally either very dark or kind of, you know, intricate is the word. But yeah, I'll play the next verse and then we'll move on to another track. takes a cop hostage and shoots him and takes the vest. 
you know, this shit is dark, man, but, you know, that's what this song is about, man. It's a dark song. It's not sugar-coated in any way, but, yeah, man. So this, that's pretty, there's more to this song. I'm not going to spoil it. You have to check it out yourself, but, you know, it's a very angry song in its, in its beat, but it's kind of sinister at the same time. It kind of fits the situation that this guy's describing. Oh, you know, we've got something a bit different to this, man, on the next track. But this is another, another well, group, but they're not very well known. I don't know much about these guys. Uh, they've only put out about two or three songs. But uh, it's a bit lighter than that last song. But still serious. All these songs are serious. That's how I like my hip-hop. I like it serious. I like it. I don't like that talking about women unless it's about serious shit. You know, it's got to be serious. It's got to be real. I'm not interested in any fucking get money bullshit. So, you know, we're on, we're on to this shit, man. So I'll play the next one. position we can wrap rings around you man and that's pretty much what he's saying in the bars man it's like all about shitting on your enemies and letting your enemies know man that they, yo you can't fuck my bars you can't fuck my flow you know what I'm saying so yeah man that, that's basically what the first that's what I get from the first you know lines and shit anyway I'll play the next one <laughs> necessarily happening but you know it's it's like it, it's very intricate and kind of indirect lyrically and kind of I don't know that's hard to describe man but very 90s style man well I, I like that shit so yeah this this joint is completely different again uh, by another another crew kind of young MCs similar to the Tate Plus there's a lot of young MCs you don't really hear young MCs much these days but, yeah, man, I'll play this. The next one after this, man, is straight up. <laughs> you, you'll know what I mean, man. It's hardcore anyway, man. We'll get into this shit. This is kind of chilled out summertime shit. And yo, they don't want to cure them. Spit my dick. So it's okay. Close, close, slip, and through. 
reflect on you so it's very philosophical talking about the law of karma and kind of a little shit man and then it gets, gets kind of more serious towards the end you know saying we don't mess around you know we're still serious about this shit and it's pretty much the first person in much shall man go on to the next but <laughs> It's about the time for me to shine. Sitting back with my brother, drinking a bottle of wine. Trying to help these motherfuckers find themselves in the skin. Recognize the name, I leave the same in your brain. Because a brother like me is only out for one day. One support in the world, but niggas go for self. Hey, 
around, thinking I'm a pussy down. The joke is on you, now you looking like a clown. So, all the guys saying here is, you know, I'm trying to do, I'm doing my thing, you know, I'm, I'm doing all this shit. We're still packing, you know, we still got shit, shit hits the fan, but we don't want to use it, but we got it, we're ready, you know, we're trying to do our, our music thing, we're trying to do all this shit, you know, it's, it's basically what the second verse is about, it's more, it's more kind of direct and serious than the first. Yeah, man. So, as you know, the sample on this is Mob Deep, it's a Mob Deep joint. I don't remember the name of it. I can only remember the piano is that ding, 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 ding. You know, I can't remember the, the fucking rhythm's name, but I can remember, you know, that. Let me break them down to size, minimize the airtime, that, that line. After this, there'll never be something, something. I can't remember the rest of it, but yeah, man. I know, I know it's off the uh, Hell on Earth album, I think. Could be wrong, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, anyway we'll move on to the next one, man. Yo, you probably heard this one. You may not have heard this remix. Blasey Blasey, Danger, DJ Premier remix. And Premier, if you don't know, I'm sure if you're hip hop, hey, you know who DJ Premier is. You know he's one of the best known producers in the East Coast, if not the biggest producer on the East Coast, with the boom bap style, you know, underground shit. But he, you know he's famous man, and many bangers he's done. So you already know, man. <laughs> if you're hip hop, you already know, but. Yeah, we'll get into it, man. the east west kind of shit going on so i personally feel it's like attacking these gangster rappers like saying you know we know who does all the crime you do it all the time so it's like, it's like pointing the finger at these fake kind of gangster rappers that are saying they're clapping everything and, and all this kind of shit so you know it's like your days are over from an evil so it's like it's like attacking kind of guys that you know, are going like talking about evil shit and doing evil things and just sales and all that shit, like saying, yo, man, stop that bullshit. You know, we don't have time for that shit. You know, we, we don't need that shit. So that's, that's basically what the guy's saying in a nutshell as well. Um, yeah, I prefer this version to, I think, the original. We'll play the original on another one, which is more famous. But I think this one's bad, man, in my opinion. I like both of them. I do like both of them. So, yeah, we'll go on to the second verse, and then we'll go on again. Oh, I forgot as well, you know, he's definitely repping the East Coast, so it's like, yo, the West is dissing the East, so this is the East fighting back. You know, it's not talking about the West Coast, but you, know, you already know that's what it's about, and the sample is... Uh, by a rapper called Jerry the Damager. Uh, I can't remember the track name again, but I know it's Jerry the Damager, the, the sample. So, you know, it's like when the East is in the house, oh my God, it's danger. Now, I don't know that the danger bit's from another hip hop joint I've heard, but I can't remember the name. Forgive me on that, but the, 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 the when the East is in the house sample, that's definitely Jerry the Damager. Anyway, we've got, another, we've got a joint by him later as well, so we'll get into that too, but we'll continue with it. 
another magic wand or it's tragic like a habit of a nuclear bomb. And I read your palm, no post is dead. It's just a straight old murder, the track, man. Letting, letting fake rappers know, yo, I'm not playing. I've got fire, I can spit, yo. The mics have, mics have like a magic wand or it's tragic like the havoc of a nuclear bomb. You know, that's, that's one of my favorite ones. And then he goes, no, y'all read your palm, no pulse, you're dead. It's like saying, yo, I killed you motherfuckers with this shit. You know, it's hardcore, guru, it's his best man. And, He's pissed, man. He's like, yo, I'm, I'm pissed, but I'm composed. I'm gonna tear you apart. <laughs> you know, that's basically what he's doing, man. He's like, I'm not getting, he's not like Onyx style, where he's angry. He's like, I'm composed, my anger's controlled. I'm putting, I'm putting it all into my verbal Tai Chi. I'm gonna rip you to bits. That's basically what he's doing, man. And that, that's pretty much what this song is. It's classic guru type shit, man. He's, you know, he does all kinds of shit. He doesn't. He doesn't particularly do aggressive songs, but don't mess with the guy, man. <laughs> like, you know, like what he's saying. Like, I'm cool. We chill, but I'm not a sucker. You know, I'm, 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 I'm serious when it comes down to it, and I will fight if it comes down to it. So, you know what I mean? He's, that's that kind of persona this guy has. You know, rest in peace. You know, he, he uh, passed away a few years ago, unfortunately, but. Another one of my favorite artists, and you know, I've listened to all the Gangstar joints, even the Jazz Mataz ones, which I recommend. Uh, they're like instrumental ones where he's rapping to jazz instruments. So I highly recommend people listen to that. And uh, so, yeah, as I said, man, listen to the mixtape joints because you find the gems on the mixtapes. So, yeah, man. But yeah, Guru is his best, definitely. Definitely killed that for his style. No one can talk with that. I don't care who you talk, say anyone can better that on that beat. Nah. So here's another one by Mob Deep and Cormega. Well, we aren't at Cormega yet, but this is a very dark track. But you know, it's it's almost like you put us in this position, so we're gonna strike back. That's that's the vibe I get from this track here, and you'll you'll see what I mean. So this is what this track's about. Right. Oh, the crowd like the Red Sea. Don't even set me. I wear life, that's all for all it's like. The sofa full of your nose and put long knives. Especially the back, the green back. My outfit, a perform to blow off stain back. Now let me take your niggas back to my basics to this. Gang, this is a back, it's a faceless. I'm saying people mark with these days to fake it. My whole mom got the same pages. So all your black agents, you make moves like a patriot. You pack places. It's a bit dang, you're nation. You're light at the weight station. They'll be sick, leave a place in. But this a heavy rotation. Overdose music. It's never a few to the user. Drive a ride under the influence of this. Careful cause you might just crash and shit. Don't even rip the still for my tip of the jack. Me and Mark trying to connect like $30,000 late. Unpoppable. Unstoppable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's how like, yo. He's playing around. That's that's the guy I'll get for that, yo. Don't even tempt me. You know what I'm saying? Don't even give me a reason to do anything. You know what I mean? He's like, he's obviously pissed, man. Someone's pissed him off. Like, at the end of his fuse, like, he's got a long fuse, but he's like, yo. Next four fucker does it? Get it. That's, that's, the, that's the shit I get from this kind of verse, man. And it's like, yeah, it's a prodigy again at his best. And, you know, part of the crowd's like the Red Sea. Don't even tempt me. You know, so. Look about his foot long knives, especially for the fact the green bag mouth will perform some blow off steam rap. So that's actually what it is, man. He's blowing off steam, getting his anger out on the track. He's like, yo, man, I'm pissed off, man. I'm going to get this shit out on this track, man. That's basically what he's doing. But at the same time, again, you've got that vivid imagery of massive knives. You know, all the autos, your Mac 10s in your head, you know, classic prodigy shit, man. You know, you know. You can see it in your head what you're going through, man. Real. It's all real. 
know, you can picture the projects, you can see him in, in his crib with a fucking Mac 10 and a big knife and his vest and all that. So you, you get the picture of what this guy's going through, what he's seen. But he's like, at the same time, you always get a feeling with Prodigy. It's like, I don't want to hurt you, but if I have to, I will. You know what I mean? And he's like, if, I, if you push me enough, I'm going to fuck you up. You know, that's it. You're getting sprayed. But if you leave me alone, that's cool. That's the kind of impression I get with a lot of his bars. Yeah, another one of my favorite MCs, man. Again, rest in peace. Died a few years ago. He was going to come to Sheffield with Havoc. I was going to go see him. Unfortunately, uh, he didn't turn up, I think, because of some bullshit with the strap he got caught with. And the UK, uh, you know, the government weren't letting him in. But yeah, man. I did get the pleasure of seeing MOP in Sheffield at uh, Hallam University a few years ago, so shout out to them if they ever seen this, man. I copped one of the t-shirts there, man, and yeah, man, that was ill. That was one of the best moments of my life. I'm not funny, man. That was one of the best moments, seeing them live in the atmosphere, man. That was ill, man. They, they were in the, uh, in the place, they were packed about it, and, you know, they, the security there, they didn't know what to do when MOP came. Well, you know how MOP get down, and they're, they're hot, and we got some joints by them later, so that, that was ill, man. That, that was one of the favorite parts of uh, my life, man, I have to be honest, man. That, that was magic. That, that was in 2015, I think. But, you know, that, that was worth every penny, man, seeing them by. And probably I never got to see uh, Prodigy, uh, you know, but, yeah, another one of my favorite artists, man. And, the next dude, Spain, Comega. You've heard of him from the beef he had with Nas. Uh, very, very underrated MC. I think he gets underrated because he has a different sounding voice. But, yeah, another one of my... I love all the MCs from Queensbridge, man. Nas, Havoc, P, you know, Tragedy. All these MCs, man. They're, they're some of my favorite MCs, man. Yeah, it's like... Oh, You'll hear this guy, man. This guy, don't don't play, man. I like, don't, just because he has an odd sounding voice, man. He don't play, man. He's serious as fuck, man. Cormelia. You know what I mean? He's as serious as P. Different style, but he's a serious, man. So, you know, check it out. Yeah, yeah. My truck clientele was bringing me money well. Smoking Buddha, El Luis, so good. They leave a funny smell. Niggas scoping me. Hope the small leaves are close to me. Like a regulator. The way shit's supposed to be. Gold chain choking me. Cocaine provoking me to live my destiny. This movie water choking me. Throwing in the smoke with the ring. Go to on my stand, yo. My Mac Lily. Sweeter than a mango. Son, you know the smelly. The drama is a part of me. This time for cocaine knives are all robbery. My rhyme is a PD is a live nigga prophecy. Make a poetic rhyme like that. No credit, I leave your mind paralyzed up and don't wet it. Got things for Sutter, I try to take the drama and I embrace it, praise it. You there from the project, your love care ain't hey, shit. Yo, I'ma see you, nigga, you stand there see through the rhymes. Fully automated, you semi rhyme related. Poor man, damn, Marcy's rhyme amazing. Some shit you can't fuck with, yeah. what? So, so I'll play the Havoc first afterwards. Probably, man. You know what I mean? It won't be a mob joint, I don't know what happens to. Yeah, Paul Megan, man, you know, serious MC, you know, talking about the street shit, the beef he's going through, I, like, I'm a see you. You know what I mean? He's always got trouble with someone. And I reckon someone could either be Naz or maybe, um, I, another one of my favorite MCs again, man, like, Noriega, man, War Paul again, classic album, hardcore shit. Almost as good as the infamous, but not quite, but similar. But still, I love that album, man. That's a good album. Definitely a classic hip hop album. Definitely worth listening. Work there. So I was <laughs> worth listening to. But yeah, man. So you know, it's serious, man. It's uh, I'm a Mac Millie, sweeter than a mango. You know, I'm obviously just going to the Mac Mac SMG. You know, one and that. But yeah, you get the image of like you know, silly and you know, like some serious apartment or something but he's got beef on his mind and he's kind of on the plate and shit and he, he you know he's like, but, but all of these mob deep tracks is very you know you get these I don't know man, it's not it's not like he's glorifying the violence it's like it's just a part of the life and they don't want it but they can't help it man it's just people bring them shit and then it's all a part of it and the, the tracks always have this kind of atmospheric almost kind of 
and spiritual kind of vibe where it's like, yo, the war thing. It's just like, yo, it's, it's on another level. But yeah, this is a Havoc B, you already know. You can tell it's a Havoc B with the classic on, on the beat that they had around this time. It's probably like 96, 98, because a lot of Havoc's beats I've heard from that time have that kind of, kind of sound to the drums. But yeah, I'll play Havoc's first and then we'll move on. Everyone's gonna get some slow business. Trying to kill me or my crew. Then we're gonna take it to your family. We're gonna take it to all you motherfuckers. That's what he's basically saying. Obviously, serious situation they're in. That's really got them pissed off. And, you know, they're flipping now. They're like, yo, you wanna kill me? I'm gonna kill you first. That's kind of, you know, it's, it's almost like kill. A lot of mob deeps kind of feelings like kill or be killed. It's like, you know, that they're under threat. They're constantly being attacked. And, See the battles that you've probably gone through in your mind, and you know, reading Prodigy's book, man, it's like he describes a lot of shit they've gone through. You already know half of it's not talked about. They've obviously gone through some fucked up kind of street situations, gunplay, all that shit. So you already know, man, like, kind of shit they've probably gone through. And uh, yeah, it's definitely aimed at someone that has probably done something to really piss them off, man. Cause you can hear they're all fucking angry and they're all like they want to get some get back. So this is like they their way of getting get back. It's almost like, yo, I'm gonna get you eventually, so give it all kind of shit as well. So you know, it's like the chorus is very dark, fair gonna kill you, you know, it's very dark, aggressive, angry song. Yeah man. Another mob joint here bit more light than that one you know a little serious songs man but i'm not halfway through the songs we're playing tonight man but i'm enjoying this shit so we'll carry on against me you know so different kind of feeling to the others it's like yo I can't believe this shit man oh fuck boy he's like yo I'm gonna get some get yeah, back man fuck that but he's like at the same time he's kind of contemplating the situation and it's fucked up you know what I mean you can tell he's kind of just 
can't believe it. It's like it's the point where you can't believe it, but you don't know what to do. So it sounds trivial, but it's not. I, I can relate to that. You know, because I've felt like that as well. Where you're like, oh man, I can't. This shit has got so bad. It's like I can't even contemplate what's going on. But you you you, you just sound casual, but you, you you know it's running through your mind and. It's like it's got so bad, it feels like the whole world's against him, and that's basically what Havoc's saying on this. chocolates and chocolate tie the weed, you know, he's stressed, smoking weed, you know, it's, it's all fucked up, but I keep him moving, you know, it's like, I've got, I've got to do what i got to do, keep doing my thing, you know, nothing I can do about the situation, so, but he's like, you know, I wish there was something I could do about the situation, but he's like, I don't know what to do, that's pretty, clear in his voice, man, it's like, you know, man, I don't know what to do, it's kind of the feeling you get, I'm going to skip to the Kims first. I'm going to 
play like major interference to your upper body section. I travel like a duty bully, represent to the fullest. You know, it's like major interference to your upper body section. He's obviously talking about you getting hit by a bullet. When he says travel like a tutu bully, he means how his lyrics go all through. Because the story of tutu bullets, because they're very small and move at a lower velocity, they kind of bounce. It's pretty grisly, but there's been stories of them bouncing around in your body and in your head. So that's what he means by that. Pretty brutal, you know, but not be kind of like, you know, you got that get you in your nose, stab your brain with your nose bone lyric from the infamous album as well. So, you know, that's the kind of style. Uh, yeah, he's like saying, you talk shit, I'll be right back. And he's like saying, you know, you talk shit, but I'll follow through. So it's like saying, yeah, you diss us and shit, but you don't do shit. It's like saying, for me, I do do shit. That's what he's basically trying to say on that verse. Yeah. So obviously he's talking about having razors in his shoe if he gets arrested. He's got the razor in his shoe to defend himself with if he gets to the island, you know, that Staten Island in New York, what he's referring to. So yeah, man, that's, you know, it's, again, it's it's for Mob Deep, man. It's hardcore shit, usually about revenge or defending yourself from people attacking you. So you know, these guys, you know, they're obviously... Uh, and dealing with people hating on them or fucking around with them. Like, yo, you, you talk shit, I'll be right back. <laughs> you, know, and, you know, they're like, yo, you talk shit, but we'll, we'll find you and we'll be back to do whatever, beat you down or whatever. So that's the kind of uh, message that you've got on this. You know, and it's like people need to stop doing that, man, because, you know, I had a situation a bit like that and I did a similar thing. I didn't hurt no one, but I came back you know, and the guy, the guy didn't stick around, man. He was gone. So, you know, it kind of made me think of this song when that happened. So it's like, be careful what you do out there. Don't 
don't turn on people for no reason because they'll come back if some people will come back and do stuff so you know that's basically what this song's about man and but yeah they've got a different artist now I mentioned him earlier you know Jerry the Damager uh RT already knows what song I'm gonna play probably man because I mentioned the song the other day yeah man we'll get on this uh, track right here emotions to super villain. You get the impression like the guy is like a Steven Hunt, like a superhero. He's being attacked. Yeah, this is Can't Stop the Prophet. Classic, you know, shit. Overlooked. Yeah, definitely one of the best hip hop uh, albums, that one that that was off. Uh, classic at East Coast style, you know. Clever wordplay. Yeah, man. <laughs> you just see in your head, man. It's like a superhero cartoon or something. That's, that's always what I see in my head when I listen to this song. Play the next book. <laughs> Pretend you the saga, mad, mad drama. I met this chick, she said she knew where ignorance was at. I said, there, she said downtown. They had babies having babies, and young niggas selling crap. I think the bitch is lying, this is set up. I can smell it, but ignorance is running rampant. I, baby, show me the exact spot. You can ask William Kimmel on that street on the dock. So I hopped up on the A-train, I'm being followed. My southern system is danger. I turn around in anger. And he brought a mall along. It's the same old song. This bit and animosity got broke for two weeks. I don't know what they think this is. I feel a drop hit in my neck. Now I can't feel my head. They hit me with a dark fist with the watch I feel. I tried to hold on, but before long, I dropped when I awoke. I was locked in the barbershop. Trapped in the barbershop. Oh, yo, they're going to try and cut my hair. But that can't stop the profit. No profit. No, we Again, like you know, you got despair, animosity, anger, all these negative emotions. He's comparing to super villains, you know. It's like they, you know, he's tied me in a chair, so he got caught by them, and they they're trying to inject him with the pork chop serum and cut off his hair, you know. So trying to basically make him impure and do all kinds of shit to him. But you know, it's like yo, I won't stop the prophet. No, no, very clever song, you know. Clever wordplay, you know, the clever, I don't know what the word is, like theories and showing, I can't think of the word, but you know, you know what I mean, like the way he uh, compares emotions to super villains and shit like that is very, very clever, man. Yeah, now we'll move on. Uh, another mod deep joint, the RSO. The crew from uh, Boston, I believe. Well, was I don't know if it still exists, but this is one of my favorite tracks, man. Uh, yeah, there's a few, few tracks by them. But yeah, man, we'll get into it. I'm 
original man called Plans Colossal, you know, so obviously talking about, you know, European people got beef with them, you know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck about that. I mean, I'm personally white, but, you know, I, I don't care. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll listen to any hip-hop song that's good. Even if I don't agree with, with what they're saying necessarily, but, you know, I can understand the frustration, you know, you kind of learning about the Illuminati and all that shit, and you think, you know, they're, they're all uh, white or whatever. They're all kinds of races in reality, but yeah, they exist, man. And it's the kind of these people that try and sabotage this call. So yeah, but, yeah one of my favourite joints, you know, lyrically booking at the government like Terminator Two, like making reference to where, you know, he's holding a mini gun and shooting the government with that in Terminator Two. Yeah, it's probably my favourite lyric from that one, and you know, it's just militant classic shit, man. Beat hard, sounds like a havoc beat, you know, goes in. A lot of people don't know this one, but yeah, man, one of my favorite ones, <laughs> you know, it's still, man. But yeah, we got uh, another RSO joint here with MOP, and very 
very appropriate for the police brutality that's going on right now. <laughs> yeah, we'll play this one. You can hate on it. <laughs> Chamber, you try that, can pop. It's pretty much what the song's about, and simple as that. You know, it's against all the shit that they're trying to do. Very relevant today. You know, we still have to deal with this bullshit. Uh, you know, especially in America, I'm not just there, but you know. So yeah, I and mean, this is a underrated song. Not many people know about it. There's two versions of this. This one has MOP on. There's an older version of this, with a similar beat, with uh. I can't remember the name of the song that sampled, I have heard it before. Quite well known. Uh, yeah, there's MOP on this, so we'll get into that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, wind up. 
you you lot can get rid of your weapons, but we're keeping them because we know how dangerous it is. We know we'll need them to defend ourselves, possibly. So, what the song's about, you know, it's telling you, you know, you, you need to stick to a weapon because if you're in a dangerous situation, you need it. That's basically the simple message. <laughs> Chilling on a summer day, no trouble, you know, just doing your thing. Let's place all this song for that. And you still make the plan. When there was no gang bang, mad love in the air. Seen a school box and broke his feet and they didn't even need to stay. Still beware, cause the moon is full. But even that couldn't give blood shed the fall. As I embark into the dark, I crept through the park. I see my team got it on lock. Let me make my mark with the weed that I saw. The twin blue emotion is skin like a shark. I lost with my higher walk, then I'm up and about. I bullshit and full food and I was out. I had the munchies, I pulled in the Mickey D's. The aftermath behind the tent, the city tree. 12 midnight, still about 100 degrees. And summer night, didn't hype enemies. Yeah, this is basically about, yo, I can't believe it, man. It's summer night day, man. Turn into night time, you know, let's smoke some weed in the park. Crew just go past, expect them to be trouble, no trouble. I can't believe it, you know what I mean? No one got hurt, nothing bad happened. 
that's basically what this song's about, man. It's based about the experience. And, you know, it's just like, yo, man, I'm so glad that it was a nice day. You know, nothing bad happened. Everything was cool. You know, that's basically what this song's about. Yeah, man. It's one of my favorite songs. You know, it just works. So this is a West Coast one, pretty much the only West Coast one. It's a remix of a quite famous song by MCI. Uh, I think it's quite interesting, the beat especially. Yeah, we'll get into this. talking about your know, my father got killed you know mom it's a fucked up situation I'm, I'm gonna join the hoods you know and do what i gotta do to try and get props try and you know find a way out of this situation saying they're putting shit in his baby's bottle like booze and shit i think he said you know they're putting alcohol in his baby's bottle and you know, kill his kid so he's, you know, in his fucked up situation, he's like, yo, I'm trying to stay afloat, trying not to get involved with this shit, but it's like, yo, I haven't got anything, so, like, he's kind of in that kind of situation. But yeah, that's, that's a classic song. Now, this one, there's a real, the next one is a real old kind of unique sounding track. And, uh, yeah, man, I'll play it, and you'll see what I mean. This is one of my favorite tracks. And unfortunately, this guy's locked up on some bullshit. I think he uh, was affiliated with Puffy. Well, yeah, man. The guy's called G Death, and the track's called Head Over Wheels. So I first heard this on a DJ premiere mixtape, but yeah, man, it's a good track. You, you'll like it, man. Like, yo, man, I just want sex, you know, but he's like, yo, I'll play along. 
calling her honey and then after that it's chicken head bitch you know what I mean so it's like you know, after he gets laid he's like yeah fuck this bitch you know she he doesn't deserve respect because she's only with people for the material things you know she only wants to get a ride in the range Rover. like he said you know a man out of bench you got head too you know what I mean so like because his man had a better car than him he did more sexual things to him because he wanted the uh, material things and the feeling it gave her. He basically hauled herself out to do that. So he, he's like, oh man, bitch, man, disgusting. You know, it's like disgusted by the behavior of the person. He's like, yo, she doesn't deserve any respect. And it's also like how he kind of got shitted on at first, but when he, like, you'll hear in the rest of the songs, like, is he gets richer and gets a better car the other way around, like, you know, but you'll see what I mean. Like he's getting more props, so they're starting to take notice. She's a gold digger, you know what I mean? She wants some of the money or the whatever he's got. So, you know, he, he fucked her and whatnot, and you know, he's the be basically, you know, like, oh, fuck this bitch after that. Kind of got a bit of her. So, you know, it's like they, all of a sudden now he's getting a bit more props and he's getting a bit more money, maybe. He's still kind of doing things like not giving a fuck like graffiti and shit but they're starting to kind of notice him but it's not because they like him it's because they want what he's got you know, I can relate to that man I've experienced that with all of women you know they not all women you know but there's some women out there that are like this and you know they got to face the facts man there's women out there like that that will do this kind of thing for material things so that's what this song's about and I'll play the final verse Realized that they ain't even worth money. 
So he's talking about how they're going insane due to the depraved lifestyle they're living. So, you know, how he says they're in the, she's in the porch of her sanity. Basically, she's losing her mind because of the choices she made and because she's just selling her soul, basically. So, you know, because he's like, sell themselves, like Hondas, you know. So, basically, what the song's about is about, you know, prostitutes and, and women that. The gold diggers and shit like that. Next one's completely different. Uh, Laws of the Underground never faded. Good song. Uh, you know, we've got about eight, nine tracks left. Yeah, we're coming towards the end of it, but again. Songs from that time had that kind of effect. Yeah, now 
another one of the books in its place so early. Yeah. yeah, man. Another one of the kind of young rappers of the time. Like, there's a lot of good kind of kid rappers around that time, man, like teenagers and shit. Shy he unfortunately, he got locked. I think he's over some bullshit. Uh, but yeah, man, he's still alive, still doing... Well, he's still breathing, but... Motherfuckers locked him over some bullshit. I think it was a revolver or some shit like that. And unfortunately, he's doing some time. But yeah, one of my favorite rappers again, uh, affiliated with Wu Tang. It's one of my favorite tracks of his, man. Uh, kind of just a lounging track, smoke weed, chill out track, pretty much. <laughs> Advanced jury saying and his money, you know what I'm saying? Dealing with chicks, dealing in a you have a video for this as well, he's in like a hotel, you know, with a chick. So, kind of vibe you get from this. Also, he's on like a be sure or something, I think, if I remember right. I watched the video for a couple of years. Interesting though, though this was one of the first beats that I rapped on. Um, one of my favorite beats, actually. It's just a real smooth, kind of soulful beat. Yeah, man, then we'll carry on with the song. <laughs> on the life he has before he got arrested or he is fantasizing about the life he wants from inside jail you know so it's more street orientated the second verse more hardcore you know he got arrested so you know in jail holding and razor fucked up situation he's in it's complete opposite of the first verse so you know it's like you know it's like I'm in a trench coast it's like he's obviously in a rough situation Maybe he, he's poor or something, you know, so he's like that exact opposite of the first verse, you know, so interesting man, but yeah, uh, completely different situation than the first one. Now, this is an old school one, actually, no, the one after is, but it's still old school, but uh, this is trans of culture. We've got my back. Be method, man. They made a song before the 
similar to name to this, which I'll play after this. So this is 93. Uh, but yeah, good track. Business, 
So it's, it's hard to explain, but you know, he has a way of talking comically but serious at the same time sometimes. Perfect example of that. Man. We'll get on to the next one. This is the last three tracks. Gemini, the gifted one, Brooklyn Kids. May I may not heard this one, but it's one of my favorite tracks. Okay.
talking about how you can find yourself. So yeah, this is a remix of the original Godfather Don, I think, remix. So yeah, one of my favorite ones. Again, got that classic New York play bell sample that they used a lot in the mid 90s and early 90s. You know, that you know, jingle bells kind of sound that was used on a lot of tracks. But it sounds dope. The fill, the B fill, you got that James Brown wow sample. You got this mystical kind of sample mixed in. Yeah, man, one of my favorite beats. I'll play the next verse and go on to the last and final track. <laughs> Scientific lyrics, kind of um, doing his thing, um, mystical kind of beat. Like uh, works well, that kind of beat works well. Very like scientific style lyrics or esoteric lyrics. You know, a lot of that in the nineties. You know, dope shit all over. Now the last one's a remix of Brooklyn Kids, but I'm gonna let it roll because I like the beat. So I'll play you a lot of this track. Security became and the security that tried to keep us quiet. Every 
Down. Put that coat down right now. More folks need to fake. More folks fucked up in the game. 
Hey, okay. You just realise they're so real. Government trying to fuck with us, man. Trying to mind control more fuckers, right? Now. Got your fucks in the brain. Listen. I wake up another day. And it's steam in the field of motherfuckers wanna try see My fucking blood spilled on bad yeah Set me up for some shit but they can lock me up I throw away the keys and no one ever feels my pain it seems Motherfucker chef was pieces to blame for me I got problems all on my mind, shame the same for me Since you left me my brain wondering where you been I'm insane, she's going down in the fucking field this year Motherfuckers brought and end up getting hit And if they wanna rip then they end up getting part left stiff It's just some shit that I'm not fucking with Don't have time to spend on bitches Text with the gas, there's no way you get any of that. You've got to come for me and get past this heat. It's deep. And even Bobby's on the beat can get it trying to stop my destiny. You testing me, I'm just trying to live. Don't step to me or it have to be some shit. Now, how real is this? The government be fucking with kids. They got an army informers trying to harass these days. These days, you could get murked and shot for the shit you say. And I don't trust nobody, because humans always left me feeling betrayed. This week got me feeling drained. These hoes acting insane. These people trying to friend me and stake a claim. Well, you can't be where I am. You motherfuckers trying to play. You don't get no say. You're obsessed with me. Now, like, you motherfuckers are gay. And ain't no girls to play. They all afraid of me. I barely slept too many things be troubling. Another day of the sun's rays. Rays drops to snowflakes. It'd be trapped in the matrix. Fuck work plays. Sword play. Palmer came with most shot you up and when your heli flops stupid Rattin' like terrorists, fuck cops, it's not for props My sister's pill popping, beer blockers and oxen Talking suicide, my mum says I need a counsellor But that won't help me, right? I gotta survive, I gotta force all on my mind Kid, you won't believe I've seen things you've never seen By any means necessary, I gotta survive I'd rather die free than live a slave or blind But every day brings me closer to you And it's real the shit that I say Kid, it's so real the shit that I say Shit that I say, yeah Trying to live, and you're trying to start some shit. I told you you'd get shot, throwing on me, kid. That's just what I did. I don't like to do it, why to do it? Motherfuckers push me that far. I don't think I ain't no star. It's all real, man. Sheffield, right here. Fucking face right here. Fuck SYP, fuck North Darkshire Police. So my dick, man. Even Chesterfield's getting filled with pulling shanks on police. It's all real right here, man. We ain't playing these days, man. Better listen up. Or fuckers get fucked. Put that energy in the right direction, though. Don't kill innocent people. Defend your own destiny. If it means living illegal, then we gotta make it to make a sequel. My throat's like a free girl. The motherfuckers can't throw a fire. Spit any flow and make it live. Put your life short. Don't let me twist.